India appears to be on a roll lately. On top of the new light tank that they recently developed, which I covered not too long ago, they seem to be developing an Armata-like tank. And we already have some details about it, and to be honest, it doesn't appear to be that bad at all. A lot of new tanks seem to go for the unmanned or low-profile turrets, and this one is no exception. There are two designs, actually. One which would have the crew sit in the hull under the turret. They would still technically be inside the turret, because they would be inside the turret basket, and rotate around together with the turret, just like any other tank. Except that they would be lower to the ground and be better protected because of that. Of course, the driver would still sit on the front of the tank. And the other option is the unmanned turret, which would have all the crew sit in the hull's front, akin to the T-14 Armata. The unmanned turret variant has a very unusual design when it comes to the outloader. The tank has two different outloaders, a carousel outloader in the hull, like the T-14 Armata, and a bustle outloader, both at the same time. This is not done often, for obvious reasons. The only vehicle that comes to my mind with a similar idea is the Burlak modernization turret for the Russian tanks, which went nowhere. But one of the ideas for implementing the Burlak turret was to have both carousel and bustle autoloader. Logic behind the bustle autoloader for Burlak was that it would allow to use the longer APF SDS projectiles, which Russians always had a problem with because of the limited projectile length that can be placed in the standard carousel autoloaders of their tanks. For this Indian tank, I don't know what the exact reason is. One thing that comes to my mind is that they want the tank to carry more ammunition, and don't require the crew to rearm the bustle autoloader manually if they run out of ammo, since they are isolated from the rest of the tank in their capsule. They also probably had some empty space and decided to place the autoloader there, and I don't think it is a bad idea to be honest. When we look at the manned turret version, we will see that it features only the bustle autoloader. The carousel one is not present because the crew is taking up the room in this case. The extra ammunition would be placed next to the driver, and in this case it wouldn't be hard for the crew to manually rearm the bustle autoloader since they are sitting in the turret, so the procedure would be similar to rearming the ready rack in the Leopard 2 or Abrams. The tank also appears to have pretty decent gun elevation, judging by some drawings, but the exact angles of gun elevation are not disclosed anywhere. This kind of elevation would work well in mountainous areas, specifically at the border areas between India and China, so having this feature for their next MBT is a good choice. The aimed weight is between 45 and 55 tons, but knowing how these projects usually go, the tanks pretty much always end up weighing in the upper limit or even exceed it. That is how it is pretty much anywhere. The tank is supposed to feature a good fire control system with automatic target tracking, possibly utilizing some form of AI for target recognition as well. It should also feature standard stuff like a battle management system, remote weapon station, etc. The gun is said to be a 120mm smoothbore gun. Yes, a smoothbore, not rifled like on the Arjun. But I honestly don't know which gun it is supposed to be. Maybe they will be procuring guns from some other country, or they actually developed a new one themselves. I unfortunately don't have any details about that. The tank is apparently supposed to be protected by composite armor and some form of new explosive reactive armor made to work against both kinetic energy and hollow charge munitions, but other than that, not much is known. The tank is also, if everything goes according to plan, going to be powered by a domestically made Datran 1500 horsepower engine. So for the possible weight of 55 tons, that is a good power to weight ratio, so the mobility of the tank should be quite decent. This tank has been in development for several years now, and recently they announced that the program under which it was developed, the Future Ready Combat Vehicle, has been cleared as a part of acceptance of necessity for the Indian Ministry of Defense, and it seems like the tank might actually become a reality. Now the question is, which exact model will be adopted, the unmanned turret one or the one with the crew sitting under the turret? I have read on some unverified sources that the plan is to first adopt the manned turret variant and then later move to the unmanned turret one, but I could not confirm this information anywhere. That would be all for now. If we get any updates, I will make sure to let you all know. If you like my content, you can support me on Patreon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.